My name is Michael Stevens and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic. I specialize in the treatment of children with inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I'd like to talk about a recent paper that was published in the journal Inflammatory Bowel, D bowel Diseases. Uh, the reason I think this is important is it confirms what's been seen in a number of other studies and that's that IBD behaves differently in children. That probably means we need to treat children differently than adults and moving forward we need to understand why it behaves differently in children so that we can find better ways to treat them. What did they do? Well this was a group of 14 Italian IBD pediatric IBD programs that formed a consortium and they looked at every child they diagnosed with IBD and followed them for a minimum of six months and they looked very carefully at how their disease behaved. What did they find? Well they found that a significant number of children with IBD are very young, under the age of 10. For a long time people have thought of IBD as a disease of adults or perhaps some of the patients are, are developed this during late adolescence. When we looked at, in this study, all children with IBD, 11% of them were under the age of 10. Other studies have shown that number to be as high as 15%. More importantly, the distribution of the disease and its behavior is very different and most likely more severe. In children with ulcerative colitis, and in ulcerative colitis the disease is limited to the large intestine, in children, they're much more likely to have extensive involvement, and by that I mean it includes the entire large intestine. In adults, it's much more common to see involvement in the very last part of the intestine, and over many years, the disease extends to ultimately cover the entire large intestine. When we look at the other common form of IBD called Crohn's disease, children are much more likely to have involvement only in their colon. Crohn's disease in general can involve any part of your GI tract, not just the colon or the small intestine. But in very young children, it's much more likely to involve only the colon. This can create some challenges for the physicians taking care of these kids. It can be important at times to know whether somebody has Crohn's disease versus ulcerative colitis. And if the Crohn's disease is only in the colon, that can be somewhat confusing. In fact, when they followed these children over time, the younger patients were much more likely to have their physicians change their diagnosis. Why is this important? Well, I think one thing this tells us is that we can't use adult-based models to determine how we treat children. This is a different disease in children. We really need to understand the mechanisms that are driving this different disease in younger patients so that we can use the treatments that we have available today more effectively and that we can identify treatments that are much more effective for children, newer treatments. Now if you have a child in your family with IBD, it's easy to think of this as somewhat disheartening news. I think what's important to realize is knowing this allows your doctor to approach your child's treatment in, in a much more knowledgeable way. This is also informing uh, how the people who make decisions about the research agenda for pediatric IBD use their resources. And many people are beginning to focus on how do we understand what's different about this form of IBD.